Hey guys, uh, welcome to the live stream. Uh, so this is where we ended last night or yesterday. Uh, so let's continue. Let's first examine what we did. Uh, so we are making this radiator here, heat radiator, and uh, this is the part we did. Uh, so this is a good uh, practice for hard surface modeling. And uh, if we turn back this small thing, you can see how we have really clean edges. And, uh, if we go to edit mode, can see how the edge flow looks yeah so let's work on this part here and see how things go so I'll bring back my reference images I think we are done with this front one for now you can hide that and maybe hide this as well so let's create these uh, fillers filaments or whatever they're called so I think I can start by adding a, what is it called a ceiling a circle uh, maybe give it about uh, 12 vertices what's going on here what is this hmm. I think this is a bug let me try reloading this so we need to rotate this 90 degrees. Let me switch on my screen cut, my screen keys. Uh, we'll bring this up here. I scale it down around there. So bring this. Go to edit mode. Or extrude in the this direction. Scale that down, reposition this. I think I can extrude this uh, like that, and also extrude this around there maybe pull this back a bit uh, around there and uh, set this as uh, the origin and I can use the mirror modifier in the Z direction like that and now we can use the array modifier so can start this off around there. Uh, we can use the array modifier in this Y direction. Uh, we need to apply the rotation here. Uh, so we need to also change uh, the direction of the mirror. So we need about three filaments. Sorry, six filaments. Perfect. So we can add the subdivision surface. I need to remove the simplify modify the simplify option here. So this is what we have. I think we can add a supporting segment there and there, and uh, we can turn on smooth shading for this. So. You can make a copy of this shift D in the Z direction and push it down like that. So we need to make these here. Uh, for those, we can start with uh, this ring here or this circle shift D, duplicate it, and then separate it uh, to its own object and select that. You can select it and then extrude out. Uh, like that and then hit E let's go to the front view maybe let's unhide our reference image for a second uh, let's also bring back this this filler element here if I can select it 
I think it's going to be for this part here. So I can scale this uh, like this and maybe scale it uh, once more. And uh, we can select uh, these top vertices, uh, straighten them up, make them straight in the Z direction. And now we can start pulling them back a bit like this. Now we also need to do the same for these bottom ones. But they need to be straightened in Z direction and uh, these ones too have to be straight. Uh, this here. So this loop here that goes around has to be broken up. Uh, so but uh, let's first see how we, can, we are going to do that. So let's also I think right now we can use the mirror modifier, so I'll delete this side. Oh, I think we already have that, but I'm not sure which side it's. Okay, so we just need to change the direction of the mirror, so we we'll delete these vertices, and uh, yeah, we have that. Uh, this here can extend, this loop can go directly there, and now we can. Uh, use this let me select this select this edge connect it like this and then delete that loop okay we need to make this eye uh, a single face I think uh, let's go to front view then shift s cursor selected then set the origin to the cursor and then uh, let's set uh, actually this has to be here shift s cursor selected and then origin to 3d cursor uh, we need the mirror in the Z direction as well. And maybe to make this even simpler, uh, instead of having this duplicated down here, we can set the mirror for this down here. So the 3D or the origin to this. Uh, right click origin to 3d cursor origin to 3d cursor uh, should be and we can move this to around here until they merge and now we can move that back to position and I uh, use the mirror modifier in the Z direction as well. But why is it too far from here? So let's see. So the origin has to be there. And this can be pulled. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Just aligning these. Not sure. Why. Uh, we'll come to that later. First, let's uh, just make these details here. Add those details in. So um, 
SC, let's see. And see, we have this loop. I think we need a loop here. And uh, we can connect it like this. Let me see, let me see, let me see. If I join this with this. So we can, uh, we can now uh, select this loop here. Should follow, should be on the same level as that edge, like that. Uh, so that we can select that loop and uh, then these here. And I think, let me first do this. Then we can extrude if I switch off this array and the subdivisions. So we can have something like this. Uh, let's go front view. I need to pull these vertices up so that uh, that continues with like that. And maybe we can, I don't know, if I do this here. If I add a cut here, so we have something like that. I think we can also, let me see, let me see. I think we can bevel this. Ah, uh, okay, we are beveling the edges, so maybe let's just insert. Around there, and then push these outside. Uh, so that we get that rounded uh, part there. Now we need to remove these extra faces we have. So I'll switch off the mirror modifier for a second and uh, go to this view. I'll select, box select uh, here and then turn off all faces. I think, let's bring back the mirror. Uh, make sure you have clipping turned on. Push that like that. Uh, now let's see what we have. If we turn on these, subdivision surface this is what we have uh, there is pinching going on here uh, this is because if we switch off this uh, you can see we have a face uh, a few faces here so we need to delete them and uh, bring back the mirror also make sure that uh, uh, there is no gap between there so make sure you have clipping turned on and uh, bring the vertices again let me reduce some of this music So this is what we have. I think this needs to be pushed out even further.